Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> Wake up, babe. It's 3 a.m. Time for your new mascot horror. All right, but for real, YouTube, what's going on? So today we have uh, Indigo Park, the newest entry in the long line of mascot horror. Ooh, that looks like a spooky bird. Now, I know how some of you act when there's spooky animatronic birds on screen, so try to keep it PG for me. Um, I don't know nothing about this. Let's dive straight in. Now, the problem with these mascot horror games, I've never started a game. The problem with these mascot horror games is I am not afraid of anything, terrestrial at least. So I'll, I'll have to play the part on screen. I'll ham it up for you guys. For all who journey to this newfound paradise, wow. we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. It's got to the point where I can't tell. pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a Dude, This person's got a nicer setup than me. That's not fair. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, I really want the vertical monitor. The vertical monitor rechat. So nice. Oh, I'm jealous. Mom's favorite, Molly McCaw. Want to do another search this weekend? Oh, okay, okay. I get this immediately. We're paranormal investigators for content. I've considered it. You know, all YouTubers have really thought about it. How bad could it be? You poke around a spooky abandoned thing. You make a YouTube video. You get a thousand bucks. You know, worst comes to worst, you get trespassed. You get kicked out of somewhere. Okay. Rambly. <clears throat> All right. Indigo Park. Chapter one, Birds of a Feather. By the way, this game is currently free. I don't know if it'll always be, but I guess the, uh, the thinking is that by making the first chapter free, they can probably get you to pay for the second chapter. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is the most sensitive game I have ever played. I have to turn down these. Options, controls, um, both of these to like point to apply. Yeah, since when is the Y key apply? That's that's a nightmare. <sighs> okay, that feels a lot better. So first of all, visually, he actually looks quite nice. Yeah, look at this detail. Now, as far as I know, this is an indie game, but, you know, recently indie games have been getting pretty insane. I was playing uh, these pools game based off of, like, pool rooms, and as far as I know, very indie, you know, no money put into it whatsoever, but they look incredible. So at this point, there really is, there's no reason to, to do AAA gaming, because it used to be the advantage of AAA gaming was... The, the visuals are way better than any indie game, right? But now we're just... We're at the point where this... I, I mean, like, does it need to look better than this? This looks good. This looks good. And it looks like they're going... So I can't really see my arm. But it looks like the style... Oh. The style's like a little more realistic than some other mascot horror games. I'm sure you guys have... You probably played them all. Hi there, and welcome to Indigo Park! Okay. The world's most innovative and engaging family fun experience. Jump into the world of your favorite character. Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. That's a long time. Congratulations! I'm Rambly. Rambly the Raccoon. Hi, Rambly. It's Rambly. my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. Okay. 
So I think the premise for this is Rambly is an AI assistant, which is why Rambly can speak directly to us, despite, you know, us being a, apparently a newcomer. Two, did you say 2,900 days? How long is that? That's almost 10 years, right? Uh, okay. Got some old soda cans here. I can interact with this. Hi, I'm oh. Rambly. Rambly the raccoon. Okay, and cool. it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is, is, is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Oh, he's looking at us. Hmm. You don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park? Or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries. It's Rambly Tuesday. So you qualify for it's a Rambly Tuesday! Just follow me to the main gate. I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. Okay. Now, I have seen what communities do to mascot horror games. This is not my first rodeo. You stay away from Rambly. If I look, I probably won't even have to look. Someone will send it to me. If you're refreshing Rule 34 sites right now, I want to preemptively say, I am disappointed in you. What would your mother think? Rambly is an animal. At least with the poppy playtime, the weird spaghetti looking mother creature was like vaguely humanoid. Don't even get me started on the FNAF. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a power cord going all the way over here. Okay. Let's do it. What's the hold up? The gate is open. Oh, it Head is. On into the entryway. My bad. Hold on. I don't think Honestly, it is open. The gate is not open. See? There seems to be an error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambling venture. Oh. How fun! Dude, this is exciting. This is a new theme, or a new uh, new attraction at this theme park. It's called turn on the generator. Okay, so where does this power cable go? Uh, it goes here. Then here. Oh, this door opened. Ah, the Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. Okay. But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? All right. We look like we're missing another, let's say your average sort of gear. I found a collectible. Visit an information kiosk to learn more. Now, how much you want to bet that plushie is already for sale? That seems to be sort of the modus operandi of these new mascot horror games. It's all about, oh, I can, I can platform. Nice. It's unusual for games like this. Modus operandi seems to be selling merch, and I get it, you know. Gotta get that bag. Huh? Right. We're so good at this game. Holy moly, we're incredible. <clears throat> the power is on. Now, where's our money money place in terms of is Rambly going to be antagonistic or is he going to be like a, a good guy? And it's like the other stuff at the park is going to be the horror. I think Rambly's going to be a good guy. I think he's our bud. Okay, for real this time. For real this time. Welcome to Indigo Park. Nice. I actually, I do love the color scheme. It has nothing to do with my personal preference for colors. It's just, it's good. You know, we don't see enough indigo, purple, violet stuff. All right, so we got Rambly. We got... I think that's the that's the one from Dragon Tales, right? Uh, is that the macaw we saw earlier? And then a very... That's a furry bait line right there. I have seen enough. Oh, silly Rambly. Every guest needs a critter cuff. Uh-oh. That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge uh -oh. payments to your room, and... Wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Critter I cuff. I don't like the sound of that. <clears throat> yeah, look, look at this line right here. That is... Uh, <laughs> if you've seen, if you've been on the internet enough, you recognize the signs. This is... This is furry bait right here. This is not... This is not an outsider to this culture making that. That is someone who knows... A little too much about the community at large. Okay, so I can't. Oh, I can. No, it's not gonna let me. Okay, fine. 
feel like I could pretty easily climb over that, but it's, it's, you know, we gotta get the cuff. Gotta get the cuff. Here you go, buddy. Your very own critter cuff. Wow. A new way to interact with the park that also doubles as a pedometer, heart monitor, and mood ring. Okay. Agreement included. So, I first thought the critter cuff was going to be some sort of deadly, like, saw-type collar we're going to have to wear, but this isn't so bad. I don't think, like, realistically, that thing could kill me, unless it's going to, like, inject me with a deadly poison, but... I don't know that. It, it doesn't... Uh-oh! The door mysteriously locked! Uh-huh. Why not test out your band and save the day? You literally look at this stock... Stock image .jpg. Indigo Park. Yeah, since I'm here, I should pick up something for... You know, the people at home. I don't want to come back empty-handed. No? Okay. You can find a keychain with one of their names on it. They never had my name at those. Darcy's just too old-fashioned of a name, I guess. Okay. Hooray! Great work, buddy! Now try entering the park. Let's go. Start our indigo adventure. The indigo adventure has begun. Okay. So there's the Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse kind of statue we got going on. That was the guy we saw earlier in the animation. I think it was an animation. I don't think it's a real person, was it? It's getting increasingly hard to tell. You know, AI is going to... It's going to fool everyone eventually. You know, right now there are still telltale signs. So those, that, those in the know can sort of see them. But I think eventually it's going to fool everyone. And instead, it's going to be the job of another AI to detect if it was AI made. So we're going to have AI generated videos, and then we're going to have AI detecting to see if those are AI generated videos. It's AI all the way down. Okay. To go park. I'm wondering how long this chapter is going to be. Because this is supposedly just chapter one. I'm assuming they probably have chapter two almost cooked up. That's generally how they do these release schedules. They release chapter one, you know, sort of get interest going on, make it free. Oh, we're caved in apparently. That's... That's unlucky. Okay, so we got Rambly? He's pretty cute. I like raccoons. Would raccoons not make a good pet? I've seen videos where people have raccoons as pet, and it's it's very tempting. Molly Macaw. Because they, they look like such mischievous creatures. And... People put up with a lot in animals. Like, cats are very, very mainstream to own. And I would say cats are, are pretty annoying. Like, is a cat really going to be worse than a raccoon? Or is a raccoon going to be worse than a cat? <sighs> no reflections. 2024. I feel like if I get rich enough, I would I would have a raccoon. They're just mischievous little bandits. Our dust, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some renovations. For the inconvenience, your Rambly Tuesday discount will be three percent off. Cool. Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Okay. I believe in myself. I believe in my sleuthing skills. Detective Doom on the case. Never mind. You know, I really am impressed with how the game looks, though. I think it's it's very good. Besides the the, the rebel, <laughs> you know that phrase that he said, "Pardon our dust." Where did that come from? Why did that become common? Something about that really irritates me. Your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride. Uh -huh. It's one of my favorites. Do you know why Rambly the raccoon loves Rambly's railroad? <laughs> I like trains. <laughs> Same rambly. Trains are a noble vehicle. So apparently this park is advanced enough that it's collecting relatively sophisticated ambient data on us. Able to determine our age just from security cameras. I'm guessing this game is placed sufficiently far in the future that it's plausible that there is a an AI mascot of a theme park that's just kind of been unattended for 10 years. 
Okay. Eh? <laughs> hmm, this is my jam. How'd they know? Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. Hi, Rambly. <laughs> I think I would write this. I don't think I'm too old for this at all. I think this is this is hitting. Oh look, it's Molly McCaw. Hi, Molly. Molly McCaw, the greatest pilot you ever saw. Oh, okay. Sure are, Why, you only crash into six bars this week. I'm not crashing, Ramley. I'm barnstorming. Right. <laughs> What's barnstorming? It's crashing with style. It barely hurts at all. It barely hurts, yeah. guys. Cool. We've got the wristband. We might as well, right? So we've been introduced to two. We got Rambly and Molly McCaw, who's like a, I guess, an Amelia Earhart stand-in. Have you guys heard the thing that Amelia Earhart was eaten oh, by crabs? Come on out and greet the people. All right, Finley. Oh. Hi, Rambly. <laughs> Why the long face? <laughs> You've known me for 100 years, Rambly. Oh. I'm always long because I'm always longing for a new seashell for my collection. Oh, Finley, you should come out of your shell. <laughs> How about you come into it instead? No. My ride, no. Oceanic Odyssey, will teach you all about the wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. Uh, I hope you'll visit. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay, see, we don't even get to. That's chapter two content. <clears throat> so I guess that's the Eeyore of the, the group. The sad, depressy spaghetti kind of. Now, when that thing said... Get the ride back up and running. Okay. Now, I sort of feel like I should have a video camera in my hands, right? I'm definitely like a YouTuber I'm trying to get the... It's, it's fine. You know, doors could open automatically. There's an AI raccoon. It's not, it's not implausible. It's not implausible. Okay. Pretty loud. Lo Lloyd's limos. Is that Lloyd? I miss his name. I got Rambly and Molly. So we need two gears for this one. Oh no. Oh no. I I just had a premonition. Oh no. I'm gonna see some inappropriate art of that thing. Within the week. Within the week. I think this game came out today, by the way. Okay, we can climb, we can climb. Where is my gear? These doors, man, they're psychic doors. It's right here. Oh my god, are you serious? Hop back on the ride. Alright, I'll edit that out, but I was looking for that for a solid five minutes. Don't don't judge me. You know, if you let he is who without gear cast the first stone, you know. He kinda like doesn't have a rhythm. This is Lloyd. Common folk name. I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion, actor extraordinaire. Great act, Lloyd. Of course it was. He I doesn't like him. I'm telling you guys that that lion, that is that is bait right there.
I have been around the block a few times, been on this wild, wild west internet for, you know, a, a good, a good amount of time. And I know it when I see it. So, what do you think? Pretty fun, right? I did I have fun. all about my friends and Lloyd. So, where do you want to go? Um, do we have a choice? I think I want to ride the macaw. Only macaw. Want to do some crashing into barns? Okay. I'm looking for collectibles here. Ooh, we're in the park. All right, we're in the park at large. Very nice. Ooh, look at that clock. I like that effect, actually. It's just going... It's going wild. That clock's going wild. Okay. Nice rotating statue of Rambly. Just shooting water out of his mouth. Just vomiting. Alright, well, I think we're just supposed to go straight ahead. But let's check this out. Lloyd's Main Stage Theater. Let's see what we're able to do. We have freedom here. Oh, no access. Do what if? Because we've been playing this for 22 minutes now. What if there's there's a prank and to subvert expectations, there are simply no jump scares in this first chapter. What if that? I think that would be a relatively clever thing to do. Sort of just like get you ready for it. Okay. Café de Raton Lavu. Buddy, come over here. Okay. This here is an information kiosk. Nice. If there's anything around the park you want to ask me about, just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. Cool. So we can ask about our collectibles here. So we have um, we have four out of twelve. That's not bad. Ooh, that's a Rambly cup. Huh? Nothing beats the taste of fresh rambleberry juice drunk directly out of my plastic, lifeless head. That's a very macabre way of putting that, Rambly. <laughs> that's not appropriate for young guests. Oh, a Molly plush. She's always been my best friend. Aww. Did you know she builds planes in her landing pad at the park, and then she crashes them. She's so talented. Very talented. Rambly ears. Those used to fly off the shelves. That pair is pretty damaged, though. Keep your eyes peeled. There's got to be at least one more mint condition set out there somewhere. Okay, so like that's sale. that's our goal is to find the mint condition. No, actually, I don't. I don't think I see. Actually, maybe maybe this. Congratulations! You found me. Don't I look adorable? Kind of do. I like raccoons. I, I really, I do want a raccoon pet. That's my goal. If the YouTube money ever gets really nice, raccoon pet. I'm not going to name it Rambly, though. I think Bandit. Bandit's the classic name for raccoon. You can't go wrong. Alright. Let's move on. The game wants us to go forward. We shall abide. After all, I'm a guest here. Jetstream Junction. Oh, look at that. You're at Jetstream Junction. Oops. Looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in. Dude, this is this is like a realistic theme park experience where you want to ride the coolest ride, but it's closed. It's under maintenance. Someone died on it 34 minutes ago. And you're like, yeah, but I want to get on, though. Back of the theater. Okay, so now we need to look for a theater. Is this a theater? I don't think so. No. Oh, there it is. Okay. Lloyd's Main Stage Theater. Let's go see this lion. Ugh. A 
Oh, now we have access. Okay. Ooh, Lloyd's got a classy establishment here. I would, I would go see, go see an opera. Yeah. Oh. Did you see that? I think I was supposed to be paying attention for that. <laughs> it looked like a rather large... It didn't even look animatronic. It kind of looked real. Or at least cartoon real. Hey, buddy. I've got eyes all over the park, but I can't see anything behind the stage. If you're going back there, be careful. Your critter cop is not yet able to resuscitate you. Not yet able? Is that a feature? <laughs> uh, Rambly just told us we don't have respawn mechanics yet. It's kind of how, like, in Shotgun Roulette, when they just, like, pump new blood back into you, defibrillate you. You see, I told you Rambly's gonna be a good guy, though. He's, he's helpful. He wants us to have a good time here at the park. Oh! Oh, look at him. He's not so friendly looking anymore. Lloyd the Lion. Now, do you think you could take... Could you take a lion in one-on-one -on -one combat? I don't know. Lions, they're not as big as something like a tiger. Or even a bear. Oh. Poor guy. I got... I kind of ended up feeling sorry for the lion in that little encounter. Tried to come say hello, got smushed by a box. So does that count as the first jump scare? I guess I was wrong. I put my money on the, the bird. Molly McCaw. Okay. Use the key to unlock Jetstream Junction. Nice. I hear something getting closer. Can I go this way? No. Thought I was going to outsmart the game there. Dude, this, this line's making a lot of noise over here. Making me feel very uncomfortable. Statue sort of scared me. Alright. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! I think, I think my, my bracelet emitted a high-pitched noise. I can barely tell though. Oh, what, what was that? Is that the lion? I didn't have the flashlight on. I feel like that could have been the lion, unless there's two of them. I don't, don't turn around. Rule number one of horror movies, don't turn around. We did it. Successfully avoided the lion. Stupid lion. I see what you're doing, Lloyd. I see what you're up to. All right, let's go unlock the jet stream ride. I think we're going to encounter Molly McCaw before the end of the night. I think it's going to happen. Jetstream Junction. Hey, why don't you check out Molly's rooftop races? It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. Cool. 
So I'm guessing as this game escalates, we're going to get cooler and cooler rides. You know, moving up from Rambly's little... Rambly's little, uh, his little train ride. Which is, you know, it's still enjoyable, but it's a, it's a kiddie ride. Alright, rooftop races. We got Molly's Garage. We got Landing Pad. What if I want to explore? Oh, this is just the eatery. It's interesting how this is just like a kind of realistic theme park. This is where they would sell you $14 pizza. And it's the worst pizza you've had in your entire life. And you're like, dang, I'll wash that down with an $8 soda. Barbecue bacon burger? Indigo special loaded hot dog? Not enough? Get it Rambly style. Make it bigger. Make it a one footer. Oh, minigame? Dude, let's go! Oh no, Molly's plane crashed somewhere in the Ram Rambleberry Woods. I better find her, make sure she's okay. This is awesome. Double jump? Oh. I have already lost the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. This time, focus. We're focused. Don't, don't judge me. The controls are weird. The controls are weird. Okay, this is not for real. This is not for real. <laughs> I swear. I, I swear. The controls are super weird. You know what? Let's not even focus on getting the stupid random berries. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's, it's like a mischievous little squirrel. Apparently raccoons and squirrels have a rivalry. Oh! Oh, we almost lost there. Oh, the squirrels are in love. Why would they include that? I'm telling you, this whole game is just furry bait. They know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Let's go. Dude, where is Molly? Molly, what happened? Oh, hey, Brambly. I was flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. Oh, no. Salem, looks like my smoke screen made her crash right on target. Salem, I should have known you were behind this, you shady skunk. Let her go. Nah. How's about I try my new potion on her instead? I'm tired of wasting it on squirrels. Molly, look out! Okay. Got some chemical warfare going on? Too slow, dumpster face. What, what did you do to her? Meet the new and improved Molly McCaw. Now with none of that friendship garbage stopping her from tearing you to pieces. Oh, the potion makes him turn evil. I wonder what she really thinks of you now. How fun find now. Oh, is it a boss battle? I think it is. <laughs> Do I, I jump on her? It seems very... Very unfriendly of him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm losing raspberries.
a rather unpleasant noise. Oh, I, I got a raspberry IRL. Very cool. All right, well, that was amusing little diversion. So apparently the skunk has the ability to turn people evil. That's, that's quite something. Is that going to be a mechanic like in the game? Is that? I thought that was <laughs> Rammy the Ram for a second. <laughs> they put Jay Schlatt in this game? Uh, okay. This is horrible. Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the right again. Don't worry, <laughs> your pal Ramley has the repairman on speed dial. Okay, that was a lot of numbers there. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here, and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. Cool. Molly's ride was kind of a bust. Let's go check out what else we got. A landing pad. Do I kind of hear something in the background? I feel like there's a... A low tone sound there. Oh, dude, this is what it's all about. You know where I'm hanging out if I'm at whatever, wherever we are. You hit me up with those playrooms. Look at Rambly. He's so cute. Yeah, I want a pet raccoon. I think this game is actually subtly propaganda. It's a big raccoon. Big raccoon trying to get me to buy one. Cool. Does it have real slight action? Not really. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have a puzzle of some kind. But what are our clues? So we have, we have purple square. Um. Okay, what two colors make purple? See, this, this game is racist against colorblind people. I think this would be it. Uh, apparently that wasn't the solution. Oh, I can move this too. So that can't be it. I thought it was like we have to make... <sighs> um, okay. Okay. Am I smart enough to beat this children's game? Rambly, give me the solution for this. Do we even have a clue? Okay, circle. Um, wait, are there shapes? Are there shapes that can be combined? Okay, circle, triangle, star. I don't know what just happened, but it opened. So purple star with blue square. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, we did it. Humongous brain allowed me to solve the puzzle by pure intuition without even knowing the rules. Ooh, I actually, I like this setting. You know, I've, I've been playing a lot of pools rooms games recently. I think it's time someone made a playroom game. Oh! No. <laughs> oh, it, it just reloads? Okay, wait, let's, let's actually explore the other way first, because it looks like we can't come back. And this... This looks like it did lead somewhere. I don't want to miss it on any collectibles. Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not afraid of any terrestrial thing. It would really have to be something spooky to scare me. So, but you know, I, I play, I play the part on camera. 
that's what people want to see. They want to see people reacting to scary, scary creatures inside of green tubes. And who am I to stand in the way of what people want? That's what the people want. That's what we'll give them. There we go. I did it. We're trading one featureless green tube for another. Okay, okay. Should we <laughs> take the dive? Oh, we can. It's one of those like um It's like those plastic spheres, see-through plastic from the the play places. Wait. Okay, I thought I saw something in there. Okay, green triangle. Do we have to remember that? This seems significant somehow. Green triangle, green triangle. Green triangle. Do we go up? <clears throat> there we go. Dude, this is, this is actually cool. I like the setting. For me, this is novel. I've seen some videos on YouTube, uh, sort of like exploring the playroom concept. But to uh, make it a game, as far as I know, this is the, this is the first game. Okay, green triangle, blue star. <sighs> Come on. Okay, green triangle, blue star. Whoa. Oh, it's the bird. Okay, she's not so bad. She's not so bad. When I first saw it, I couldn't tell what it was at all. It was a way scarier. Geronimo! Oh, okay. So we have to learn. We have to learn at least four of these. So green triangle. Blue star. And then the other path is just going to lead to the other I think I get it. I think I get it. But why why did this door open in the first place? I actually I don't know. Maybe it's just time based and it was just going to open eventually. Okay. I think I could have fun in here even as an adult. These are adult sized corridors. Uh, is that yellow circle? I think that's yellow circle. Yellow circle. Huh. So I'm. I'm missing one. Am I not? But we can brute force it. Yellow circle, and then with only one shape remaining, I think we can brute force it. So we have triangle, circle, star. I'm guessing, huh? I would say that should be red square. Apparently not. Oh, oh purple triangle, purple triangle. Oh, this is what we missed earlier. So stupid, purple triangle. So that's correct already. But we're, we're missing missing red. Okay, let's let's go through again, be extra observant. So I, I wasn't paying attention at first. Okay, let's let's retrace our steps for the first path. Red star. Easy. Now that we know what we're doing. I actually really like this. This is a cool mechanic so far. I, I enjoy the playrooms as a setting. There we go. Dude, we're so intelligent. We beat this puzzle for children. I feel like this... Isn't this how they... I feel like I've been to a playground like this before where stairs were like this. Is this real? Somebody tell me. This is this is cool. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, more playrooms. That, that didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Do you imagine getting lost in these as a kid? Like imagine you're actual you're an actual six year old. And this this is pretty large. This is rather a rather large area for a six year old. <laughs> uh, oh. 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 Oh no, we have been slain by Molly McCaw. I wasn't fast enough on the draw there. Pretty sure the animatronic was drooling though. You were caught by Molly McCaw. It has a nice little, uh, Molly can repeat words that she's heard. Don't be fooled. Whoa. Is this gonna be one of those games where you can like, you can detect your mic input? That would be trippy. That would be next level. Oh, I guess that switch opened that door. Okay, okay, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. So we activate this, we're like, no way. Woo. Left, left, let's try left. Don't look, don't look, don't look behind you. <laughs> Trampoline. I wonder if you could actually go up there. Oh, I can't. <clears throat> try left again. Couldn't make it. Ah. Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, dude. Man, that, that was a big area. All right, press E to respawn. Come on. These load times are too long. We were caught by Molly McCaw. What is Molly McCaw going to do to us, though? Is she going to tear us apart with those large talons? Do the chickens have large talons? That's a Napoleon Dynamite throwback. I know you Zoomers haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite. Maybe it's fire. Okay, so since we tried left last time, let's go straight this time. I want to see, does this game actually have different paths? What? No! How'd she, how she get there? Wait, so by, by pure intuition alone, did we, did we suss out the correct path the first time? <laughs> I don't mind trial and error, but when trial and error is introduced with long loading screens between each thing, that's, that's not good. It's not good. Okay, left. Um, then I think I made this jump. I think I did left again. That seemed to work out, right? Missed that jump. Can't make that jump. Oh, come on. Okay, we're, we're doing something wrong here. We're doing something wrong here. All right, you know what? I'll edit out all these loading screens for you, but I assure you that these are. These are getting irritating. I think I'm developing carpal tunnel syndrome. My wrist has really been, really been hurting recently. Okay, so this time we're gonna change something up. Go left. That seems to be the only correct answer for this part. 
miss that top jump. I don't think it's possible. This is all straightforward. Let's try going straight here. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay. We were correct. We were correct about that. So, I think you just missed that. Go through here. Continue. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Up and over. Yes. Yes. Oh, I got stuck. I think we made it out. Had to go back for the mask. She was, she was really kind of got us. That kind of scared me. I feel like we had established a speed. We had established the speed that that character ran, and that just that broke all the rules there. I wonder if this game does it look for a mic input? Because I don't, I don't have a mic directly attached to my PC. I have an audio like workstation, a digital. So maybe it doesn't know. Because we're in the 21st century, games can do weird stuff like that now. So I wonder if we're missing out on some of the experience. Alright, this time we know what to do. We know the path. We're speedrunning. Up and over. Sharp right. And then grab the mask. Cardio. Cardio, boys. Let's go. Oh, left. Oh, I hear her. I hear her. In the vents. Right? No, no, no. Ah, there you are, buddy. Rambly, save me. Oh, Rambly. Come on, I I see Rambly's a good guy. Rambly, save me! Rambly, please! <gasps> oh. Oh. It was a real creature? It wasn't an animatronic? Welcome to the Rambly's Wranglers registered room. Here we have plenty of amenities and... Uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, scary, upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so... Uh -huh. I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees stopped showing up. Guests, too. The mascots are... I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long, I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. Okay. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. Uh -huh. You mustn't come here because the park matters to you too, right? No, I was just looking for views. Are you willing to help me restore the park? I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. It's the mask. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. So th this is a weird twist. I. It's usually animatronics when you do this kind of stuff. Okay, welcome to the crew, Rookie Wrangler. Registered. Your first official job as one of Rambly's Wranglers Register is to get out of the Rambly's Wranglers Register room. Cool. Head left towards the Rookie Wranglers Register security room to set yourself free. Phew, kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambly's Wranglers Register is a registered trademark. <laughs> that expired yesterday. Oh, he's he's free game. He's like Steamboat Willie and Winnie the Pooh. Wranglers only. Uh oh, that Rambly's Wranglers room oh. is only accessible by Royal Wranglers. 
maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it. That's a higher subscription tier. We need to pay more money. All right, I'm guessing that's going to be the end of chapter one. Let's see if I'm correct. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, cool. Let's ask about Oodle hey, Plush. Buddy. Did you dig that out of the lost and found? Or was it in the trash? No surprise, I guess, that our park would dispose of a non indigo brand toy. I suppose he'd make playtime special for a child with poor taste, though. Wow. Okay, so this is not an official mascot. Whoa, where'd you get that? Rambleberries are my favorite. Oh, if only I could jump out of the screen and take a big bite. Don't eat it. Maybe I'll be able to one day. Sure thing, Rambly. Save it for you. Whoa, where'd you find that? I've never seen anyone wearing one. Pretty snazzy. Ooh, looks like there's an audio recording tagged with costume in my database I've never noticed before. Let's listen, let's listen. Deep lore. Hey, Jackson, you hear about the new mascots? Yeah, think it'll put us out of a job? I think so. Old sport. And <laughs> right after we got this damn raccoon costume. <laughs> what is that voice acting? Man, screw this place. I said we get our asses out of here and go straight to Vegas. Oh, come on, they didn't even document the Indigo inventory ID for the costume. I was really looking forward to that. What a useless recording. Deleted. <laughs> hey, old sport. Oceanic Odyssey. Oh, we're going to go visit the, uh, wow, you made the some Eeyore. Oceanic Odyssey. You're doing a great job, Rookie Wrangler. Dude, this one looks fun. This is kind of my vibe. Find a puffer and porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. But please don't tap the glass. You don't really know what Oh, oh. That, <laughs> that's going to be a lot scarier as a real creature. A gigantic hey, serpent? Buddy. You okay? You look kind of tired. Do you need a moment? Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck. I could go for a nice, relaxing defragmentation myself. Uh huh. But before you settle down, you up for a little survey to help us improve the park? Sure, let's Thanks do it. Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Hope all your dreams came true. Oh. If you've got some time and you're up for a lark, stick around for the Rambly review. Oh, a song. My best all right. Well, YouTube, what did you think? That was Indigo Park. I mean, I'm definitely gonna play the next part. I could have done without the song.